takes place a little while after I had got out the penitentiary. So, I'm staying with my parents and whatnot. Now, I done met this girl. She probably stayed about an hour and a half away. But the way I met her was I had a homeboy and he had a homeboy. We had all been locked up together. So his homeboy said, man, I'm coming down, but I'm bringing these two girls with me. And I'm trying to find me a girl down there. So he said, okay. So the two chicks came down with him. And the one girl, she was feeling me. Her name was Tammy. So we ended up going out to the club, and, you know, I asked old boy, I said, hey, you know old girl was feeling me, I know you bought him. He was like, man, I don't give a damn about them, I'm trying to find me something down here. I said, okay. So, to fast forward the end of the night, he hadn't found nobody, and I was with old girl, my homeboy with the other girl. He was sitting out there on the couch watching BET Uncut. He didn't get no type of action. <laughs> So fast forward, I'm talking to the chick on a daily basis. I end up going back home, which was, you know, probably like an hour away. Now, old girl, she stayed probably like an hour and a half away. I didn't have transportation at the time either. So she says, I'm going to come pick you up. I said, well... Uh, okay. So, at the time, my parents was gone. So, the plan was for her to come pick me up. And we was about to go over my cousin's house and hang out. So, the chick comes over. Now, she's wearing a short skirt and a little short tie. And she's got on some hooker. So I'm like, oh man, okay, okay. So now she's upstairs, and I'm downstairs, and I'm kind of trying to leave, because I really want to leave before my parents get home. So it just so happens my parents come home quicker than I anticipated. So now they're excited because they want to see what type of chick this is because, you know, I have been gone for a little while. So they expecting something extravagant. So I'm like, man, this girl looks like a hooker. She definitely is not a looker. So they like, well, bring her on downstairs. So let me remind you, this girl has on hooker boots, a short skirt, and a short shirt. Looks like she's been out there selling her body. And, you know, she was never supposed to see my parents anyways. So she comes downstairs and their eyes kind of get big. She's like, hey, my name's Tammy. So they say, you know, they play it off. Oh, how you doing, Tammy? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we end up leaving. Now, I end up meeting up with my cousin. And we end up, you know, going back to his place after we had hung out a little bit. So, you know, me and old girl, we mess around. So the next morning, she drops me off, you know, to where my parents were. So, you know, they, they see her drop me off and everything. So I don't really think nothing of it. So, now we're back at home a couple days later and I'm in the kitchen making breakfast so my parents they, they kind of bombard me they're like sit down we want to talk to you about something well, I said you know well what you want to talk about they say well we, we know you've been locked up for a while and you know, we'll always love you. So, I'm confused, like, what what the hell are you talking about? They say, I mean, you know, is there anything you want to tell us? 
I'm like, uh, no. They say, well, you know, like I say, you know, you've been locked up for a while. Things might have happened. And like I said, we're still going to be your parents. We're going to love you regardless. So I said, what are you talking about? They said, that was a man. I said, who? They said, um, Tammy. So I'm thinking to myself, like, no, that wasn't no man because I didn't explore every part of her body. And she had some kids and everything, too. So I said, no, um, that was Tammy. So they said, no. They said, well, you know, we thought it was one thing when you left. But once I seen you was with her in the morning and she dropped you off, you know, it was obvious you had spent the night with her. And like I said, that was a man. So I said, no, that was Tammy. So they said, that wasn't no damn Tammy. That was Tommy. So, uh, basically, I had to, uh, you know, convince them that, um, that wasn't no damn man. But, uh, you know, I was a little appalled that they thought, you know, something like that had happened. So, uh, yeah, to end the story, that wasn't no damn Tommy, that was Tammy. Ha, ha, ha.